Hey everybody, it is June 28th, 2020. Back for another Garden Diaries, part five, I think. Maybe part four. First of all, I'm gonna say real quick, don't mind the gunshots. Joshua and his papa are out back shooting at some steel. If I jump a little, just disregard. So the potatoes and the eggplant, I have sprinkled on diatomaceous earth. I'm trying really hard to not break down and go with like seven dust or any kind of pesticide, but the flea beetles have just about killed the eggplant entirely and they are eaten at the potatoes a lot. I sprinkled a little diatomaceous earth on the tomatillos, but as you can see, like this tomatillo is, oh, see, there you go, there's some guns for you. This tomatillo is up to my chest, so they are doing better than what the bugs can even do to them or get to them. There's our zucchini, which is going absolutely crazy. Um, I've picked about four or five zucchini. One of them was just a giant. I just picked it, gave it to um, Joshua's papa. Take home, it'll be big enough to serve a whole family. The sunflowers are doing really good, as you can see. And this is like to my waist. The spaghetti squash and the cucumber are kind of like merging together, which is fine. Um, I'm just trying to keep them kind of going along this way. Um, trying to prevent them from going out to the yard so it doesn't make it so hard for when our grass is getting mowed. Um, I did just go through and spray all of the cucumber leaves, spaghetti squash leaves, the cucumber leaves through here. I sprayed them with a watered down mix of hydrogen peroxide and a little bit of peppermint oil. You can't tell it now. Um, well, there's a leaf that still has it showing, but almost every leaf looked like that, which that is mildew. Um, we have been getting a lot of rain, not a lot of sun till today. So it, I am noticing really quickly, and it's probably because I have like the lack of space but these leaves mildew really fast. Um, I did pick some of the worst leaves off, but I, I don't know, I think I'm gonna try to avoid pruning because I think that might be the problem with I'm having with some of my tomatoes. We lost two, one tomato plant last week I had pulled out of the ground. There's a tomato on that side right there that's dying. This tomato plant looks like it's dying too. On that end of the garden, they're loving it, and it's like a jungle, and I actually have no idea how I'm going to pick cabbage or tomatoes when that time comes, but I'll be thankful regardless. And then at the very end over here, tomatoes like that, but something's going on with this area. And like I mentioned last week, I don't know if I burned them up, maybe because I put so much fertilizer on them. Oh, this white stuff here is diatomaceous earth. I had sprinkled it also on the cabbage and broccoli because we do have cabbage worms. I did find a cabbage worm. I smushed it. I found out that the white moths that have black spots on them, those lay cabbage worm eggs. I did not know that. And I had seen those in my garden and I was all excited because I thought, oh, they're going to cross pollinate everything. No, they've just been laying eggs on my broccoli and the cabbage. My purple cabbage hasn't gotten hit too hard. It's looking pretty good. Oh, I'm gonna come in and get you some close-ups of some different veggies. We've got some bell peppers. Um, I did pick banana peppers last week. We've got some jalapenos. The banana peppers are going crazy. And it's interesting, they kind of grow straight up in the air. Some of them. Some of the tomatillas are huge too. Well, the balloons on the outsides of them are huge, but the actual fruit on the inside isn't huge yet. 
Those won't be ready to pick until they're like papery and brown, I think. Um, I did not, and I'm not going to, do any more fertilizer. Um, I'll wait to see if I need any once things start producing veggies like crazy. Clearly the zucchini and cucumber and all that's probably not going to need anything. I got my basket out because I'm getting ready to pick some zucchini, squash, and cucumber. I literally just cooked so much zucchini squash this morning and I'm going to have to do like a cucumber salad I think. I think I've got like three or four cucumbers in there. But it's looking good. It's got me excited. I'm loving it. I need to get in here and pick some weeds but it's just too mushy. I don't want to mash it all down right now. Maybe one morning this week for work. As long as I can get my butt out of bed. Here's a zucchini, y'all. I mean, look at that. I'm gonna need a bigger basket, you guys. Here's another zucchini. Look at this little baby sunflower. He's just not growing very much. I don't know what variety that is. Um, I mean, obviously these are my mammoth Russian ones. And then these, I think, are the solar eclipses. So, anyways, there's another zucchini. If I can get it. I just twist and pull. This is really the size that I like to pick them at. If you've ever grown zucchini before, you know they just sneak up on you. Look at this sneaky guy. Oh my gosh. This is seriously like a jungle. Oh my gosh, it sounds like a war zone right now. It's off. Everything's safe, y'all. They're in the backyard. And there's another one. Oh my gosh, that one's bigger than I thought it was gonna be. Man. There's a squash that's ready. It's a little big actually, but I think all right. I'm gonna go ahead and pick the other squash. They could get bigger, but I just like the way they taste when they're a little smaller, like this guy. Oh, goodness, I guess he's holding the whole plant up. This guy's probably gonna fall over now. Let's see if I can fix that. Hmm. Oh, and there, there's one with blossom and draught. Gotta try to get those off the plant. Look at that. This plant's got some squash. And it is ate up with also blossom and draught. Look at those two. That's sad. The birds will eat them though. These two are good. It's amazing how it'll grow some good ones. 